Y'all, welcome back. We're making a lemon loaf candle today. I get my lemon loaf from Walmart in the bakery section. It's going to cost you about $3.50. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the mold as well. I use silicone, the dish soap, and the water method. If you want to see this method in detail, you're going to have to go back and watch my DIY on how to make silicone molds. I do have two videos, and it's a little bit more detailed than what you're going to see today. Right now, you're just going to watch me. It's like a how to make this candle from start to finish, just like a construction, but it's going to go rather quickly because I do have it in um, sped up version. Now, I was having a lot of problems with this um, caulking gun. So this is not going to be the ideal um, construction of this mold. It's going to work out in the end, but because my caulking gun was acting up, the silicone sat in the water a lot longer than I would like. If you watch my other videos, then you know that I'm one to take mine out just a little bit sooner. So it's going to be a little bit more sticky to touch, but I still am able to work with it. Well, in this one, the silicone and the caulking gun would not act right. So what's on the bottom of the bucket sits there a little bit longer. It's going to get a lot stiffer. And so it just um, makes for a more difficult mold for me like I said it works out in the end but my water I like to keep it at around room temperature anything colder is going to allow it the silicone to stiffen a lot faster anything warmer is going to delay it from stiffening so if you keep it around room temperature it gives you enough time to work with unless you're having problems like me what I do suggest is if you are having problems getting out of the caulking gun the best you can do is to kind of keep the um, silicone in the same area so some of it starts to sit above the water and that way it doesn't because once it hits the water again it's going to start to activate and it's going to start stiffening so if you can keep some of it above the water then it buys you a little bit more time so that's what you see me doing here because i knew i was going to be in trouble but i was not going to stop if i had picked up that silicone it would have got all over my hand and been sticky and it would have been caused a whole nother mess so that's the detail of the lemon loaf walmart has like a cinnamon loaf <clears throat> they also have a excuse me guys I, it's early in the morning and allergy season has kicked in but they also have like a banana nut bread um but i chose a lemon loaf especially i don't know i guess it kind of went with the fact that i do have the lemon um candle um fragrance so that's kind of why I've, I've been wanting to do it so you're gonna see me um put the silicone on top of the lemon loaf and then i'll show you the kind of problems that i was having with it again if you ever have this problem which is not a usual problem i'm just i was playing around with it to see what part was the stiffer part because you want the stiffer part on the outside and you want the sticky part on the inside so that's what i do as you can see the top is already stiff it's not going anywhere but the bottom part is still loose enough for me to mold it around the loaf the outside is not going to affect the inside it's just an aesthetics thing so if you kind of want your mold to like look nice um and uniform then that's what <laughs> you have to do you just kind of have to mold it around and then i'm going to add some more silicone so i can get some uniformity otherwise i used a total of three tubes for the very for the other one that i made previous to this one i only had to use two tubes came out perfectly except for the fact that you might have to use two and a half tubes because the first one i made i didn't mold it all the way down the loaf so it's a shorter looking loaf and you'll see that in just a minute but as you can see the top is still stiff i'm just kind of working around the bottom part so i can get all my details on the side of the loaf because what you don't want to do is lose any detail in your mold i definitely want a night and and again using three tubes for this one it's five dollars per tube or it's like 448 so that means it cost me $15 to make this and you want to make it worth it. I know I'm going to keep it for years to come because I already have molds that I've had for a long time that I've made. But you just want to make sure that you get your money's worth and you don't want to be wasteful. So make sure your caulking gun is working right and then 
of course you won't have this problem but I mean things happen so I'm just showing you kind of how to work around the things that could possibly happen now you can see it's nice and uniform it turned out a lot thicker than I'd like but um, it's still working so it's a working mold and that's all you want and you can see that it's still some detail there all right so this is showing you that I have two pans going because I have this is a previous mold that I made it's not the same one that we made today I just wanted to show you the construction of the candle so when I unmold it it's a lot shorter as well so I poured a little bit of wax at the bottom of the other pan and I'm just gonna stack the pans on top of each other either way it goes I took this out a lot faster than I should have so you're gonna see that it's warped on the side this is me simply being impatient also don't be impatient because <laughs> look at the side of that it's nice and warped I also had preordained holes for it to go the wicks to go into they did not want to go into those holes so as you see it's kind of uneven where I put that wick there. It all works out in the end. If you sit the um, wax in there, if it's a little too warm, it's going to um, work itself out from the weight of the wax anyways. But just know that these are things that you can avoid. Anyways, I'm painting the mold, the, excuse me, the lemon loaf now. I'm just using a brown and a honey golden, I think gunny hole gunny holden <laughs> golden honey is what i'm using to paint the top of this um loaf and i get those um it's, they're block dyes i get them from flaming candle i have so many of them and then those are just little um t uh pie tins that i got off of amazon that i've repurposed because I have no idea what to do with a three inch um, tan. Still haven't worked that out yet. Anyways, I'm just pouring some wax crumbles on top to kind of give it that little look. I could have added a lot more brown to it and I probably will end up going back to add a little bit more color to it. But I just wanted you to see the process a little bit now that I'm looking at it it doesn't look as brown as I'd like well I can't say I can't add more because I've already burnt this one but in the future I will add a little bit more brown to it but you paint it how you want um, to get the look that you're going for adding a little bit more crumbles to it and then I decided to add in some glaze for razzle dazzle I have no idea why glaze was a little bit thicker than I like so it didn't turn out great but it still gave me a decent um, kind of glazed look on top and that's the look of the candle that we made today and again that's it burning so if you guys like the video please comment like and subscribe thank you guys again for watching